We finally closed on our dream house. This is my second time seeing the house. And look how huge, look, first of all, look how huge that is. My hair is crazy. And let's walk inside. Cardi B has come a long way since her past life working as a stripper and these days is recognized by Forbes as one of the most influential female rappers of all time. I just want to tell you this, if you ever seen me in the strip club at my job and I have a little attitude I'm making steak, it's not because I'm like that, it's because, come on now, I'm at work and I'm a little frustrated, I'm not seeing the money. Her success built over social media and she became an internet celebrity before anything else. I will be in Omar Lounge in Connecticut. Bridgeport. Get your tickets now though. It's only $10. All my dresses cost $10. <laughs> now she's a successful rapper, songwriter, and even TV personality with multiple awards under her belt, even including a Grammy. She's only 27 at the time of this recording, but Cardi has settled down with Migos rapper Offset, and I'm sure you already know about the couple's past drama. But the most recent news is that the pair just finally moved into their dream mansion after a search that took them over two years. And let me tell you, this place is impressive. They showed off their new mega mansion on Instagram and gave a whole house tour over Christmas. It's clear that Cardi is super excited to live there with Offset and their baby daughter culture. At the time of this video, Cardi's Insta following sits at over 56 million, while her man Offset has 15.3 million on the platform. If you think that's a lot, the couple's combined net worth is even more impressive. With Cardi having an estimated net worth of 24 mil and Offset with about 26 mil, they hold over 50 million together, and that's enough to buy any damn house they want. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to look at the brand new dream mansion in Atlanta that Cardi B and Offset just moved into and give you guys all the details. We've done Cardi B's house tour on this channel in the past, so we'll give a little recap on the couple's other real estate investments as well. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Drake and Rihanna and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. First off, we know that Cardi and Offset's new home isn't in Hollywood like your average celebrities. Nope, it's actually in Buckhead, Atlanta, and from what we know, Cardi already had some experience living in this neighborhood. When Culture was born, Cardi spent a fair share of her time living in a mansion in Buckhead that she rented. Her and Offset were on a break at this time. Offset has been calling Atlanta home for a long time now, so I'm guessing Cardi stayed there so he could be close to Culture too. When the couple reconciled, Cardi moved back into Offset's mansion, but she still shared quite a few special moments with baby Culture in that home. Culture, do you love me? I'm your mommy. Like I said, Offset was living in Atlanta for quite some time, and him and Cardi were calling his mansion home until they found their new place. Cardi talked about living with Offset in Atlanta last year. She said that Offset is never comfortable in New York where she's from and he loves down south. He told me to move in with him in Atlanta. I stayed in his house a couple of times but it's so hard to live there. He decided though that we're going to build a house in Atlanta and that's the house that we're going to raise our kids in. Offset made his home family ready when Cardi and baby culture moved in and even set up her fancy crib at the time. Although Offset's mansion was lavish and had plenty of space for the fam, Cardi and Offset were determined to find their dream house together, even though it took them over two years. Finally, it's time to look at their new Atlanta dream home the couple just moved into this Christmas. Cardi and Offset have been pretty vocal about house hunting and it's been taking them over two years to find the one. We've been trying to get a house for two years and we never see eye to, we never see eye, to eye but look, look, look how huge it is. Cardi told fans in an IG Live that they were planning on having their family home in Atlanta, and we know that's definitely what Offset wanted. The couple thought they would have to get their dream home built for them, but that would have taken over three years. So me and Offset, we've been house hunting for a year and a half. We want the perfect house. We were thinking about building a house, but our dream house will take about three years to build, and we cannot wait that long because we have kids. So we finally found our dream house and um, 
we couldn't get it because by the time that all the papers got approved, somebody got the house. Thanks to their realtor, Brandy Hunter Lewis, Cardi and Offset found the dream mansion in Buckhead, Atlanta that they would be calling home, and we know exactly what it looks like. Cardi said on IG that it was hard for her and Offset to find something that checked both their boxes, but this house did and they loved the neighborhood it was in too. Sounds like a no-brainer. We don't know the exact price the couple paid for the mansion, but on the real estate site its value is listed at over $5.7 so let's just assume Cardi and Offset paid that. Cardi B and Offset's new mansion is 22,500 square feet and was built back in 2006. It sits on six acres of fully private land with beautiful landscaping and gardens surrounding it. There are five beds, seven baths, and four half baths. We can see from Cardi's videos that the place isn't furnished yet, but they have an idea of how they're gonna set it up. I mean, after all, Cardi does say it's only her second time seeing the house. You can see the mega high ceilings, all the windows, the massive entryway, and what will be their living room. Cardi and Offset's master bedroom is definitely fit for royalty, and you can see just how big it really is. I guess Cardi is making sure Offset doesn't take all her closet space, but there's clearly multiple, so I think they'll be good. Cardi and Offset's Atlanta mansion has beautiful winding staircases and a bunch of different rooms on the main floor, including a library which can also double as an office space. Then Cardi and Offset show off their massive basement where Cardi says she's gonna use one room as her beauty room to get ready and all that. Apparently the rest of the basement is for Offset and he's using it as a man cave. You can hear him telling Cardi she can't go hang down there. My man cave. Alright, there's gonna be, alright. She ain't gonna be allowed. It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. Their new home also has a massive wine cellar that holds 1,800 bottles, and Cardi says they're gonna start drinking wine just because of that. Moving upstairs, we can see more of the bedrooms. There's even what the real estate calls the second master because it's so huge. There's also a room upstairs Cardi picked already to be the kids' playroom, so I'm sure the couple is planning on growing their family soon. Each bedroom even has their own private bathroom too. Offset will also have a second man cave in the garage for all of his cars. It's labeled as a four car garage, but he'll be able to fit more than that, I'm sure. And plus, Cardi doesn't drive, so it'll definitely be mostly his space. Outside of Cardi and Offset's new mansion, on their six acres of land, you'll find an infinity pool, of course, and a ton of grassy land surrounded by trees. One more surprise in Cardi and Offset's new mega mansion is definitely the indoor gun range with steel walls. I heard that they can't even own guns, but still looks pretty crazy if they ever get to use that part of the house. I never really see mansions with their own gun range, that's for sure. Maybe other than Dan Bilzerian's. So now we've seen Cardi B and Offset's new family mega mansion in Buckhead, Atlanta, which they seem super excited about. I mean, it has taken them years to find a house that both of them fell in love with, so I'm happy for them. Their massive estate in Atlanta looks like it's suited perfectly for them and baby culture because we know the couple likes the fancier things. From the mega high ceilings to the winding staircases and pillars all over, the place looks good enough for royalty. But the two have definitely earned it with all of their success in the hip hop game. We also know that this mega mansion isn't the only real estate that the couple owns. Cardi bought a home in New York for her mom back in 2018 that cost her around 2 mil, and as far as we know, mom's still living there. Cardi and Offset also put some money down for some land in the Atlanta suburb of Jonesboro, actually purchasing half a street. This area wasn't too expensive, and apparently the couple only paid over 200k for five houses and a plot of property. I think some of the houses still have tenants renting them out, but we're unsure of what the couple has planned for this land. I think now that they've found their dream home, maybe this street was just an investment. After seeing all of Cardi B and Offset's family dream home in Buckhead, which part was your fave? I know there are plenty of rooms to choose from, but I think I like the main living space in the backyard the best. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how nice it's gonna look when it's fully furnished. So even though things slowed down over here for a little bit over the holidays, I've still been reading all your comments, and now I'll be reading out some from past videos. On our Taylor Swift house tour, Stephen Campbell wrote, Cleaning all those houses must drive Taylor crazy. Maybe she gets her boyfriend to clean them. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, Stephen. I mean, she does have like eight properties. Lucky she's rich enough to hire some help. On our Kendall Jenner house tour, Sergio Donis said, Your outfit's cute, girl. This was an awesome video. I didn't realize I've never seen her house. Thanks, Sergio. I'm glad you liked it. And Kendall is one of the more quiet sisters, so she puts out less information about where she lives, that's for sure. And finally, on our Lady Gaga house tour, Morticia Styles said, 
My faves are the Frank Zappa crib and the New York pad is delicious. She also requested a video on Johnny Depp's home, which I would love to do. So if that's something you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments. All right, guys, that's all we have on Cardi B and Offset's new mega mansion and dream home in Atlanta, Georgia. But Cardi's videos show a lot of the place, so I don't think there's much more to see. I think that the couple made the perfect choice with their new home, and it's definitely right for both of them by the looks of it. What do you guys think of the place? Be sure to let me know in the comments, and let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye!